Hi, priest. I got important information for you. Watch your back! I borrowed a small submarine from friends of mine in the Explorers League. We'll be embarking off the coast of Azuna as soon as you can join us, High Priest. The answers are here. I can feel it. Travel safe. Ah, seas calm so far. Even this goes to the maelstrom. So, brother. The planet Azeroth, she just sort of told you to come here? Not so much in words. Tis more... feelings. But not like feelings you or I would have. Now what does that even mean? Well, let's say you're a world soul, eh? What sort of feelings do you suppose you'd have? Sometimes you feel like a crumbling mountain range, and sometimes... You feel like a deep, dark sea. I don't know exactly how to describe it. So she sort of felt at you that you should come here. It felt like a sunrise. We're coming up to what appears to be the vault entrance. Commencing docking procedures. That's a large door. Gotta be a lever around here somewhere, though. There's always a lever. Revola, Rook, Myers, Amir. Well, I suppose you don't need to be looking for levers and switches no more, Brad. Bit of a shame, that. A lost Titan Vault, kept in immaculate condition. Oh, this be one for the record books. What do you suppose be in these bubbles, eh? They must be activated simultaneously. High Priest, would you do the honours? Systems active. Visitors detected. Scan in progress. Ooh, I'm not sure enough what this is gonna lead to. Weapons up! No essential life forms detected. Resuming scan. Now, what do you mean by that? Not essential. Me, you're not essential, you wee little. Speaker status verified. Welcome, Speaker. Have you come to retrieve the Seekers? Seekers? Yes. That must be what she meant when she directed me to this place. She wanted us to find these creatures. Uh, Mr. Custodian, what in the name of the Forge is a Seeker? Allow me to show you! The 
designation, Seeker. Feral creatures infused with the light by the Shapers. The finest specimens were selected from herds and trained to serve the Watchers, speeding them to sites of corruption in accordance with containment protocols. Herds, you say? We've never seen a one. How many of them remain? Accessing. Current count of known seekers, three. Only the three here, then. So, what happened to them? Invasive, corruptive entities have bombarded this planet since its shaping. Attrition due to combat fatalities gradually reduced the numbers of seekers. Now, only these are known to remain. These noble creatures protected us before we even knew how to protect ourselves. Alert! Void energies detected! Initiating sanitation protocol! Oh, Blazes, not again! Again? You've done this before, brother? Oh, aye, more than once. You're the big, important speaker. Can ye shut it off, then? Uh, <clears throat> Stop it then, will ya? Unable to comply. Sanitation protocol cannot be aborted. Visitors may be in a corrupted state. If you are hearing whispers... I sense some corruption amongst my brethren. Please, Watch yourself for purification. Well, here we go. Spawns alive, barely of this world. A good dispel should dissipate him. Of course, the big ones would come to life too. Watch yourselves. Not done yet! There's no giant eye lasers this time, eh? Troth, this'll be the last time I go adventuring with a bronze beard. Many'll come this time. The machine surges with the light.
And that's the last of them. Gonna hope that's the last time I end up in this situation. Hmm. Custodian be powering down. Might be this chamber expended all its energy. No, oh, no one's left to look after these poor creatures. You're wrong about that, lass. Tis why Azeroth called me. Called us, here. She knew it wouldn't be long before the Void overtook this chamber. She knew who would protect these creatures and use them in service of the Light. Tis you, High Priest. Agreed. High Priest, give us time to scribe him into the Annals of the Light. We'll meet up at Netherlight Temple. I can take you back whenever you're ready, High Priest. Inquiring minds just got to know. The truth is out there. Great to meet ya. Be good. 